so in this questions there are three statements followed by three conclusions number 1 2 3 you have to take the three given statements to be true even if they seem to be variants from the commonly known fact and then decide which of the given conclusion logically follows from the given statements disregarding the commonly known fact so whatever the known fact is there then you should uh, you should not follow that whatever the command or whatever the statements they have given we have to consider that statements are true or okay, based on that we need to give the conclusion yes this is the first statement they have given three statements and they have given the conclusion the statement says all bats are echo some echo are machines some machines are masters what is the conclusion here the conclusions they have given all masters being bad is a possibility no machine are masters some echo are master yes what will be the answer for this question when diagram is one of the easiest one which will get rid of all the confusions here now there are some certain basic criteria here for when diagrams also okay so please uh, we'll have a look into it so what are the possibilities here i'll take out all a's are b's this is one case all a's are b's next some a's are b's some a's are b's please no make a note of it some a's are not b's are not b's and at last no a's are b's okay this statement number 1 statement number 2 statement number 3 statement number 4 so when we are going to look into this this condition we will be always having two possibility the two possibility says getting it please understand this we will always be having two possibilities one is a minimum condition and the maximum condition okay first one is all a's are b's okay just a minute okay first one all a's are b's this is the first condition where a is here and b is this one so this is a this is a and this is b for this condition i can say this is the minimum condition just touching the inner circle <coughs> here i can say all a's are b's this is a minimum condition guys please make a note of this one and the maximum condition is this is a as well as b the whole set is common whole set is same all a's are b's the next comes some a's are b's some a's are b's okay so this is this one and this just touching it a and b and again here i can see the whole set where a and b are together some a's are b's getting it the next one some a's are not b's so again some a's are not b's minimum condition is this one but maximum condition is this one where i am going to have a and b nothing is b getting it and at last no a's are b's minimum as well as maximum both are same this is the minimum as well as maximum please make a note of this and while you are going to take okay please understand this there is one con one more condition for this sum let us assume they have told some a's are b's please make a note of this some a's are b's and some b's are c's b's are c's at that time what you have to do is first draw the diagram for a and b are b's next what is the second statement says some b's are c's whether they have asked us to touch to a whether there is any condition which says c should connect to a no right so do not do extra effort do not touch a so this is the minimum condition where it will have c now there is no relation between a and c getting it so this is the one minimum condition you need to understand for the three sums whenever they are given okay so please make a note of it so that i can erase it and we can move to the next part okay now i'm going to the question here all bats are echoes minimum condition this is bat 
and this is echo bat and echo and some echo are machine now look here when they're talking just about echo we should not touch bat even some echo are machines getting it and some machines are master they are just talking about machine and master so don't do extra effort in connecting that and this so this is a minimum condition check whether minimum condition satisfies or not all master being bat is a possibility now look here all master being a bat is a possibility now they are not talking about a direct conclusion they are just talking about the possibility possibility is it should have any one possibility so this is the minimum condition so whenever they are talking about the possibility we need to draw maximum also bat and echo all bats are echo right some echo are machines and some machines are masters everything is same is it possible is it possible guys maximum condition this is the minimum and maximum now look here all master being bat is a possibility in minimum condition it is not possible but looking at maximum thing can i say is it possible yes then i can say either a should be the answer or c should be the answer which has conclusion one right i can eliminate b and d because conclusion one satisfies next we need not check with the other one we have to check whether second follows or not or else we will not even go to third itself second one no machine are masters no machine are master now they are not telling no machine as a master is a possibility they are not talking about that getting it they are just telling no machine are masters but look here in this case mach some machines are masters so we cannot say no in the maximum case also we have machines as master so i uh, i can say that second is also not the answer the answer is option a which is this one not this only conclusion one follows if you are going to follow the same technique with the same basic understanding no extra effort only the things only the question whichever they have given or only the connection whichever they have given just connect to those things in minimum condition getting it so if you are going to follow this then you can solve almost almost all the syllogism problem in a easy way and for more updates on similar videos don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you